Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to properly connect and pair your BSP D3 for those three systems, the Nintendo Switch, PC and your Android phone and the same thing goes as well for the iOS. Plus, I'm going to show you how to map the back button right here. So anything further ado guys, we hop into my table and I'm going to show you how to get the job done. Alright guys, let's begin with the Switch. So to able to pair your D3 controller to your Switch, you have right here, you need to press the RT and the power button at the same time. Just like this and you go to your switch add on click a go to controllers go to change grip order and wait a little bit it's going to say paired put it in there we go this is this is you this is your home button when you pair it with your switch and this is this is your a and this is your b instead for this is a and this is b i don't know why don't ask me let's hop to our game let me show you that it actually works all right guys and as you might see when i press this button here link ja runs here as well, here when I press this button, the sword, you can charge, and yeah, this works, this works, and this is as I said, it's the home button, and yeah, that's how you map your switch with your D3 controller guys, let's go now to the PC part. Alright guys, now for the PC, to pair your D3 control guys, we need to press, can we get the zoom on, there we go, the RB, there we, the RB button guys, and the power button, at the same time, boom, like this, then you go to your PC, as soon as in front of you, right here, you go to Bluetooth, you can wait a little bit, unknown device, mm. There it is, Xbox Voice Controller guys, click on it and it's gonna connect right there. And if, if you wanna double check, you will. You can even go inside here and you can here, you can see it in swell. If you don't see it where I did see, see it, just click on add device and bloaters and you should see your, you see your controller. With the controller connect guys, we can go to duck station, whatever you want to go to because it doesn't really matter. Just for nostalgia, the rest I'm gonna skip. All right, guys, at we are in the gameplay, you can see as I move the Regina. Is it Regina? Moves, pause, pauses, configurations, moving around, looks just fine. <laughs> As always, never gets told. Um, yeah, that you can you can rotate, you can aim, you can shoot. Yeah, and that's how you connect your D3 controller guys to your PC. Let's move on with Android and iOS. All right, guys. So don't bother with all the other combination. When it goes to your phone, Android or iOS, just go for this same button combination. Use X input, and all the applications and games that are in, on your phone is gonna work uh, without mapping anything. Go for power button or RB. So power button, RB button, at the same time. Take your phone, put it inside. I do this always. So go to your Bluetooth settings. And yeah, there it is. Xbox Xbox wireless controller. Click on it. Yes, just pair it. And as you might see, you're connected and the controller gonna stop to to uh, blink. With this, we good. Game space, we gonna use and yeah, there we go. Open content, Mario World, and as you might see it works just fine. I don't even need to map nothing, it's just automatically mapped because it's it is like an Xbox controller, guys. Play a little bit. Did you see? No input lag. Nothing. There we go. Audio. Oops. I just... Looks just fine here. So not too crazy. All right, all right, guys. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how you map those two con buttons uh, behind the controller. So some people think they not work and they just fake. No, it's not this thing. So what you need to do, guys, is you need to. I'm gonna explain really quick what you need to do. You need to press on the select and hold it. You need to press the button that you want to map and hold it as well. 
When it blinks, you leave you you release the select button, but keep your finger on the one that you want to map and still keep it. Then you choose the button that you want to map with this button press it then you release this button here guys and in the last release this button so let me show you as you might see as much as i press nothing happened with mario so i'm going to press select and hold it i'm going to press the button i want to map it's going to blink now i want it i want mario to do this so i'm going to release now this button here see now i release this in the last and you see <laughs> it works now when i press this button behind here Mario does the scroll jumps and if you want to unmap it you need to do this it's a little bit simpler you just hold select hold the button that you mapped release release select and then release the button that you mapped without to choose anything and as you might see it's unmapped let's do it one last time and we're gonna do now the jump just a normal jump button right so we're gonna press again select and hold it we're pressing the button that you want to map and hold it we're releasing select we're pressing jump we're releasing the button that we're mapping and then in the end we're releasing the jump now if i press the button here the m1 i think or m2 you see mario jumps and that's how you do it guys with this all said i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and everyone else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming guys hey believe me or not i recorded this video <laughs> probably one million thousand times because not of not catching audio with this all said i'm freaking out fear peace